The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. Here we are on the final leg of our trip to Yekaterinburg and um, on our trip um, I've met Valentina here who's a vegan who we saw in the bakery in um, Lake Baikal and she um, is going to do a bit of a trade with me so I, I bought her some food in the railway compartment the other day and today she's going to make some vegan noodles. So yeah, this is uh, two kind of almost the same noodles. They are vegan noodles. I bought them in Beijing. Can I go the spicy? Yeah. Is that alright? Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Because <laughs> um, I'm hanging out for a bit of spicy food. And you've also bought something else along which is pretty heavy to carry when, yeah. you, when, I, when I saw you on the station and um, platform <laughs> and you were just, you were telling me how you were from Irkuts to this train, you were balancing and a woman was balancing you <laughs> yeah. because you had two yellow bags of noodles and food and your backpack. So this is pretty heavy, but is it worth carrying? It is definitely worth it. Yeah. So you why is that? To try it. Yeah, I will it's do. It's a puree made of eggplants and carrots and tomatoes. So uh -huh. it's really nice. Typical right. Russian and vegan. Right, great. And do you tend to put it on a wheat um, bread thing? Yeah, on yeah. bread or yeah, on this cookie. Okay, and I'm so just not sure if your bowl is big enough. We have to try that out. Okay, well I'll break it. So I'll take that. And so why don't you? Um, yeah, this is the more spicy. Yeah, but um, are we going to split this? How much is there in in here? Shall we open this first and we'll see? Let's just have a look. Okay, yeah. And big metal bowl. Um, no, we'll go with this. This is I'm happy with my Peter Rabbit bowl from the. <laughs> Store in Ulaanbaatar. Gosh, my mouth is watering, and I've got no idea what this is going to be like. But it's a gift from a newly found friend, so I'm looking forward to it. So, does the noodles? It's just one block of noodles, then. <laughs> so you're right. It just yeah. may not. It may not do the honours in there. And let's just have a look. Yes, we'll just put that yeah. packet to the side. And so. we have got some. Um, Yep. Okay. So this. This looks like the powder, spicy powder, yep. and, and this is the beautiful vegetables. <laughs> How excited am I at opening these up? I'm wondering, do you, will the noodles? They'll expand a bit, won't they, with the water? Yeah. Normally, you should put them first. And yeah, and then add those. The yeah. Edge. What am I going to do? Am I going to? They won't break up into my. Um, that won't do. Um, I might have to ask the Metasaurus to bring a big, big metal bowl, I think. Metasaurus? Yo. Do you have that big metal bowl? <laughs> As always, the Metasaurus, Metasaurus is always right, except for what he eats. But we'll go that. I don't think Peter Rabbit, little Peter Rabbit, or is it the family of little bunnies, and this does not compute. So you want my baking bowl? Yeah, man. Okay, enjoy. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right, let's go to the side. Let's go to the thermos. Um, I'm being quite rude here because I'm. Let me. Uh, we should eat this together. <laughs> do you want to do the honours with that while I pour my water? <laughs> let's just. Uh, you may notice that all the functional gear is owned by the Metasaurus, and it's a reflection of what the the vegetarian brought with him. Oh, and the temperature comes through the meat bowl quite significantly. Let's see, I wonder how much water I'm going to need for this thing. Um, I think you have to pour a bit more. A bit more? Yeah. Depends if you want to have it as a soup or as Yeah, not too much as a soup. I think I might just put this uh, on here, otherwise I'm going to have 
a burn. I'm wondering whether these vegan noodles have different characteristics to the egg noodle, you know, egg noodles, whether egg noodles, there's a good reason for egg in because it makes them taste better or um, whether they form better, I don't know. It's a bit easier to form them, I think. Yeah, yeah, but right. Actually, the normal Italian noodles, they are made without eggs, so. Right, okay. I think it came from China that they uh, made. Uh, Put yeah. um, eggs. See, I never would have thought that um, we'd get vegan noodles in China. Dog noodle, yeah. Oh no, that'll be Korea. And um, a mock meat egg noodle, yeah, perhaps. This is where all the nutrition is. Look at them. In fact, this is garnish. This is garnish. And we've come across garnish before as a whole subsection of a menu. And that is what I'm having today. So, this is the spicy powder. How exciting is this? My mouth is watering so much because I'm hungry. That may play a role in the enjoyment factor. So, well, there's a lot of powder in here, which is reassuring because those noodles were looking pretty dull. Definitely getting more interested in it. There's a little bit of tasty scent coming off it as opposed to before when there's nothing coming off the noodles. This is where my spork is is just finding a whole roll of its own, mixing it up with the fork and I'm gonna eat it with the spoon I think. <laughs> Woo! That's got a bit of zing to it hasn't it? A bit of what? A bit of zing, a bit of spice. <laughs> Yeah, I said that's it's great. <laughs> All the way from Beijing. Yeah. By Valentina, who's all the way from Switzerland, and here we are, just entering the Urals, having left now Iberia, having noodles from Beijing, and they are great. I'm loving it. Oh. That's good. Mmm. Fantastic. That is perfect.